Okay, this is my first video on this channel, and today I'm going to be teaching uh, you how to do a basic ILS approach. Today we are uh, we are in a Cirrus SF50, and we are at YVR International. This is a Gen 2 aircraft, which has the auto, auto throttle in place. This is an amazing tool. And I think is a definitely a great download if you really want that auto throttle. It de definitely change change the way you fly. Okay, so today I am going to teach you how to do an ILS approach. First of all, this is a navigation frequency. What this does is it locks on to a tower at the runway, and it tells you what your glide slope is, the correct altitude altitude that you at that you're at. And what the glide slope is, it is basically a it's the pitch of the plane that gives you the perfect three degree uh pitch into the runway, into the approach. And so to do this you have to tune your navigation, this box, to that frequency. And an easy way to do this is to go to your map. It'll probably show up like this for you. It's a map, and ignore this. And in this map, you will go up to the mode here, click IFR, low on route, and then if your uh, airport supports uh, an ILS approach, you'll select the runway that you want and you'll click 2Nav1 or 2Nav2. And what I've done right now, I've just spawned at an ILS approach, which is a 10 nautical, nautical mile approach. So, what this does is this is a 3 degree glide slope and the approach brings you down on that glide slope and it also uh, it locks you onto the runway, so you're pointed directly at the runway. So now that you have clicked this and you tuned your nav, it should show up right here, up in the top boxes. It depends if you have two frequencies on here. I only have one at the moment. But you would click this button here, and you would switch it to your primary. This is your primary navigation, and this is your backup, standby. Now, I'll just delete my previous flight plan. Now what you do, you click procedure, and you select approach. Right now, I'm, I'm on runway I ILS 8 right, so runway 8 right, and that's an ILS approach. So that's the runway that I want. So I'm going to select that runway, click it. I'm going to use vectors, which is the transition. I don't need a minimus. That depends on the, oh no, oops. I'm gonna use this style. This is your, how you get around the screen. I'm going to click activate. If this is at the start of your flight, you would click load. And then you would activate the approach later. Actually, I'll just demonstrate that right now. So I'll click load. So now your approach is loaded into your flight plan. It's as easy as that. And then since it's loaded and I didn't click the uh, activate approach button. For example, I took off from another airport. I'm flying and flying. I get onto the approach at send. And now I'm at the approach. I'm getting through the approach. I would click activate approach. Now that purple indicates that you are going to this this uh, transition, this uh, waypoint. So now that, now that the approach is activated, I'm going to activate my autopilot. First of all, I'm going to turn on my autopilot. First of all, I'm, I'm, I'm paused, so nothing is happening since I don't have too much distance. I'm paused. 
Now what you want to do is you want to select navigation. Oh, wait, first of all. Huh. I think I have to quit the play. Now I want to click the approach button. Now that I've clicked the CDI, I've locked on to the airport frequency. So it's locked. And now I want to click the approach button. And now it shows the glide slope. Sorry, I had, uh, I didn't tune it correctly at the start. So now it's the glide slope. See how it's slowly coming down. And then when it comes below this line, it's gonna start to get start uh, the plane to head down. See, as it shows up here, it shows that it's green and it's it's using that frequency to activate the approach. This line here, it shows that's the runway, that middle line, that middle line section there. And once you're locked onto the runway and you're heading directly to the runway. That should be aligned with the green box there to the CDI, which is the uh, frequency that the plane is using to uh, go into the approach. So now it's fully activated the glide slope. If I go back to my map, it's following the three degree glide slope right in the middle. And it's going to bring me down. I'm going a little too fast here, so I'm going to activate my auto throttle. As you heard, it just brought down the throttle. I'm going to bring my first notch flaps. And my gear is going to go down. In this plane, I want to have the approach at 80 knots. That's going to bring it down to 80 knots. That's my perfect approach speed in this aircraft. And sorry about my altitude. That may look a little funky. That's because I haven't set up my altimeter correctly since I was flying at an another airport. My landing lights are on. First notch of flaps. Autopilot is looking good. Gear down, flaps down. Everything should be good. Approaching zero eight right. Okay, I'll let the plane do its thing. I've set, I have my correct speed. It's locked onto the frequency. Lock, all aligned, everything is good. And when you do this approach, you have to make sure that you click the approach button before you do anything. Second notch of flaps. Three, two, one.
now I have control of the plane. And I've landed. That wasn't a very long float. That's okay. And I'm full flaps. I'm just gonna get to my nearest exit point. I'll turn my auto throttle off. Yeah, it's it. It's off. I'm exiting up here. And this isn't an online flight or anything, so there's no ATC in this. It's just a normal flight. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here. Stop. Okay, so that was a tutorial on how to do an eyeless approach. I would appreciate it if you subscribed, liked, or commented on my video. This is my first video, so thank you for the support. I'll try to do more videos in the future in, when it comes to X-Plane and do tutorials, I would like to do some bat sim stuff, and thank you very much for watching.